federal government also provides funding. They have their, what's called the entitlements. They have Title I funds, Title II funds, Title III funds. Those are typically for Title I, for example, is for high poverty students. And that's supposed to be focused, once again, on a per pupil basis to pay for those high poverty students. And you see different schools use different allocations for those dollars. For example, coaches are paid typically Title I and Title II dollars. In our schools, they weren't getting the amount of money they should have gotten for their coaches. And when we actually really dug into the details, we found $2 million more just from the coaching dollars that the schools that the partnerships covers and serves should be getting that they weren't getting. Now, if they weren't getting it, it means somebody else was. And that somebody else either means the bureaucracy or that means teachers or coaches at other schools and other neighborhoods, or in some cases that also may mean where they're providing more resources to a certain school because it's smaller without telling anybody about that. So what typically happens is our large schools, our high poverty schools are getting dramatically underfunded. And that's something we saw, and that's just with one line item, that's just with coaching dollars. With the partnership, most of our schools are very high poverty, very low performing, and we said, hey, we need to get the funding that's supposed to be there on a per student basis. Now, the reality is, is that the district hasn't been able to do that yet because they don't know exactly how to do that. Santee High School, 3,600 person high school, it's massive. It's a year round school. It's a place where so many young people are struggling. And we believe at that school, if the dollars follow the student from the money they're supposed to get today, we believe they should be getting three and a half million dollars more every single year. That's over 10% of their budget because this is a school, it's a high poverty school, it's a huge school, it's got a lot of young teachers and that money's going to somebody else and it's going to a bureaucracy, and it's also going to other schools and other neighborhoods with older teachers. Poor kids and kids of color are far more likely to get access to the courses that will get them into